Students, let us look at question number 51 now. The rate of diffusion depends upon various factors. If the ratio of rate of diffusion of two gases A is to B is 8 is to 9 and the ratio of the masses present is 1 is to 9, then the ratio of the molar masses Ma is to Mb is. So we have been given that we have to assume all the other factors are same for both the gases. Students, we have to apply Graham's law of diffusion in this case and the rate of diffusion of A represented by Ra is to the rate of diffusion of B represented by RB is equal to PA by PB into under root of MB by MA. Now students, it is given to us that the ratio of the masses of the gases present is 1 is to 9. So we can write this PA is to PB factor as NA is to NB as the pressure will be exerted in proportion to the number of moles which are present. And this Na by Nb term can be further simplified to the to give us Ga upon Gb into Mb by Ma where Ga and Gb are the given masses of A and B taken inside the container while the under root term will remain the same. So if we try and put the values which is given to us in the question we have the value of ratio of rates which is 8 is to 9. So we have 8 is to 9 equal to the ratio of the weight which is 1 is to 9 into mb by ma raised to the power 3 by 2. So in solving this expression we have the value of mb by ma equal to 4 is to 1 but the examiner is interested in the inverse of this ratio that is ma is to mb so we have to mark option 1 as the correct answer to our question. Let us look at question number 52 now. In question number 52, the examiner has given us P versus V diagrams for real gas and idle gas and is interested in knowing about the correct graph. So students, if we look at the definition of Z, Z is equal to V real by V ideal and we also have the variation of Z with the pressure. So we can plot Z on the Y axis and we can plot pressure on the X axis. We'll have the line corresponding to Z equal to 1. Now we know that the graph of Z first decreases and then increases. So in the low pressure region, we have the value of Z which is less than 1. Whereas in the high pressure region, we have the value of Z which is more than 1. So if we look at the low pressure region, the value of V real will be less than V ideal. And if you look at the high pressure region, the value of V real shall be more than V ideal. So looking at the options, if you look at option 3, we can have a high pressure region and we can also have a low pressure region. So in the high pressure region, for a fixed pressure, we see that the volume of the real gas is greater than that of the idle gas. So this part of the graph is correct. And if you look at the low pressure region, in the low pressure region, we see that for a fixed pressure, the volume of the idle gas is more than that of the real gas. So this part of the graph is also correct. So students, we can see that the correct graph is given in option 3. And we have to select option 3 as the correct answer to our question. Let us look at question number 53 now. The heat of neutralization of two weak acids HA and HB by NaOH are minus 12500 calorie per mole and minus 13250 calorie per mole. One mole each of HA, HB and NaOH are added to the container and the enthalpy change was found to be minus 13000 calories. Then the ratio of moles of HA is to HB neutralized is, it is given that the total mole of acid neutralized is equal to 1. So students, let us assume that A moles of HA be neutralized and B moles of HB be neutralized. So we can say that the value of A plus B is equal to 1. Now we can use the heat of reaction data. So the heat of neutralization of HA is given to be minus 12500 calorie per mole. And the actual moles neutralized are assumed to be A. So the heat liberated will be minus 12500 into A. If we talk about HB now, its heat of neutralization is minus 13 to 50. And the moles of B neutralized is equal to B. So this will be the total heat liberated during the neutralization process. And it is equal to minus 13000 calories as given to us in the question. So if we try and solve these two expressions, we have the value of A equal to 1 by 3 and we have the value of B is equal to 2 by 3. But the examiner is interested in knowing the ratio of moles of HA is to HB. That is, he is interested in knowing the value of A ratio B 
which comes out to be equal to 1 is to 2. So students, we have to mark option 1 as the correct answer to our question. Let us look at question number 54 now. The lattice energy of a solid MX is 700 kJ per mole and its enthalpy of solution is plus 50 kJ per mole. If the hydration energy of M plus and X minus are in the ratio of 2 is to 3, then the hydration energy of M plus is. So students, we have a solid MX which is dissociating into its gaseous ions. So we have M plus gaseous and X minus gaseous. And the examiner is also interested in the hydration of these ions. So we have M plus gaseous converting into M plus aqueous and X minus gaseous converting into X minus aqueous. So if you look at the steps of this reaction, we have the conversion of MX solid into M plus gaseous and X minus gaseous in the first step. So the energy which has to be provided here is equal to the lattice energy. So we have to provide a energy of 700 kilojoule per mole for this conversion. Now it is given to us that the ratio of hydration enthalpy of M plus and X minus are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 and these steps represent the hydration of the ions. So M plus gaseous to M plus aqueous will release an energy equal to minus 2x whereas X minus gaseous to X minus aqueous will release an energy equal to minus 3x as it is given to us in the question. Now the examiner has also told us that the enthalpy of solution which can be directly represented by this step mx solid converting into m plus aqueous and x minus aqueous it is equal to plus 50 kilojoule per mole so we can apply Hass's law on this set of equations which we have created so we have 700 minus 5x equal to 50 so solving for value of x we have the value of x equal to plus 130 which gives us a value of hydration enthalpy of m plus equal to minus 260 and a hydration enthalpy of X minus equal to minus 390. So students, the examiner is interested in knowing about the hydration energy of M plus. So students, we have to mark option 2 as the correct answer to our question. Let us look at question number 55 now. Question number 55. Molar internal energy depends upon temperature. If for a process, the molar internal energy varies as Um equal to A plus Bt square, where the value of A and B have been given to us, then we have to find out the value of molar heat capacity at constant volume at 300 Kelvin. So students, we have been given the variation of molar internal energy with temperature. So A plus Bt square. And the examiner is interested in knowing the value of Cv molar at 300 Kelvin. Students, we know that Cv molar can be written as du molar by dt. So if we try and differentiate the UM expression given to us with respect to temperature, we'll have the value of CV equal to 2B into T. Now the value of B and the value of temperature has been given to us. We just have to put these values to find out the value of CV at 300 Kelvin. So we have 2 into the value of B given to us is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. And the value of temperature given to us is 300 Kelvins. So solving this expression, we have the value of CV molar equal to 3. So students, we have to mark option 1 as the correct answer to our question. 